In this video, we're going to make a Minecraft Creeper beanie hat. For those of my subscribers who don't know what a Creeper is, it's a character from a video game called Minecraft that every kid in the world with an internet connection is playing. These will make great gifts for kids, teens, boyfriends, girlfriends, even moms and dads who secretly play Minecraft. I know you're out there. There are patterns available for both child and adult size beanies, and I'll put a link to them in the description below. But for this video, I'll be using a 41 peg Nifty Knitter brand loom for the youth to adult size beanie. If you are making a child size beanie, just be sure to pay attention to the differences in the pattern. But the principles I will show you are the same for either size. We're going to use a black and bright green yarn. Now let's get started. Tie a slip knot by wrapping the yarn around two fingers, then pulling a strand through the loop. Secure the slip knot by cinching it closed onto the first peg. Then cut off the excess, but don't trim too close or it can come undone. We'll now wrap each peg counterclockwise as we work in a clockwise direction around the loom. Once every peg is wrapped, you can temporarily tie off the yarn on the side peg. I just wrap the yarn around my finger and then transfer it onto the peg like this. Then push the yarn down on each peg in order to make room for another row of yarn. Wrap the loom with the second row of yarn and push it down as before. Continue wrapping until you have three rows of yarn on the loom. Now it's time to use the pick tool. Pull the bottom loop of yarn up, over, and off each peg so that only two rows of yarn remain on each peg. Every time you have three rows of yarn on the loom, you'll pick off the bottom row, and then add another row, wrapping and picking. Continue wrapping and picking until you've added 14 rows of yarn. These 14 rows of yarn will make the brim of the beanie. 14 rows is generally pretty small for a brim, but we want to make sure the creeper face is the most prominent feature of the hat. With the 14 rows finished, it's time to secure the brim of the beanie. To do this, add the very first row of yarn back onto the pegs. Bring the strand up and over each peg all the way around the loom. Then pick the bottom strand of yarn up and over each peg to secure the brim portion of the beanie. It should look like this when you're done. Now add three more rows of green yarn and we'll be ready for the next step. With the three rows added, it's time to make the creeper's face. Cut a length of several feet of black yarn. Tie a slip knot and place the loop onto the third peg and cinch it tight. On the other side of the black yarn, thread a yarn needle. Here's the easy way to thread a yarn needle. Take a small strip of paper and fold it over the yarn. Then slip the paper through the eye of the yarn needle and pull. Now we'll be working with a single strand of black yarn, so leave just a short length on the other side of the needle. Thread the black yarn through the last stitch that was picked off from the second peg, like this. This integrates the black yarn into the stitches of the rest of the hat. This is very important if you want your beanie to turn out right and look good. With the black yarn secured to the green, we're now ready to wrap the pegs according to the pattern with the black yarn. We'll be counting the slip knot as a wrap, so now we'll wrap the fourth peg. Now there's a gap, so we'll secure this side of the black loops into the adjacent peg with the green yarn. Before we can wrap the next two pegs with the black yarn, we need to secure the black yarn again to the adjacent peg. So thread through peg number 8 and then wrap pegs 9 and 10. Then secure the black thread into the stitch of peg number 11.
With the black yarn wrapped, we can now wrap the green yarn around all the pegs that don't already have a black loop of yarn on them. With the entire loom wrapped, pick the bottom row up and over the top of the pegs just as before. Now it's time to add another row. Start with the black yarn first and we'll be wrapping backward to the third peg. From this point on it's not necessary to secure the black yarn before starting the wrapping as we did with the slip knot because the stitch we secured it to on the last row will hold it in place. However this only applies when you start so we still need to secure the black yarn to the stitches on the pegs number 8, 5, and 2. Once you've wrapped and secured the black yarn, wrap the green on all the pegs without a loop of black and then pick it off. Continue wrapping and picking in the pattern, remembering to secure the black yarn as you go for 8 rows. Be sure to look at the pattern to keep track of where you are. And remember that the child size hat is slightly different from the adult size hat which you are watching in this video. Now if at any point you run out of black yarn on your needle, just take the needle off and tie on a longer strand of yarn. The only thing you want to make sure is when you tie it, you make your knot as small as possible. With eight rows added, we're ready for the next change in the pattern. Wrap the black yarn on pegs three through ten for seven rows. remembering to secure the black yarn onto the adjacent green stitches. With the seven rows added, it's time for the next step. For this part, we'll first secure the black yarn to the black stitch on peg number nine, and then wrap pegs eight through five, being sure to secure the black yarn at the end of the row onto the black stitch of number four. Then wrap all the other pegs with the green yarn. This section of the pattern continues back and forth for a total of five rows. Then we'll be ready for the next step. With the five rows completed, we're going to add just one row of green all the way across the loom. Just leave the black yarn as it is for now. With the row of green completed, we can start the eyes of the creeper. Secure the black yarn to the green stitch on peg number 41. Then wrap four pegs with the black yarn. Secure the black yarn to the stitch on peg number 5. Then secure the black yarn to the stitch on peg number 8. Then wrap pegs 9 through 12 and secure the yarn to the green stitch on peg 13. Continue adding 11 rows in this way and we'll be ready for the next step. 
With the 11 rows of yarn added to the beanie, it should look like this. You can now tie off the black yarn. Add another 17 rows of yarn for the adult hat or 15 rows for the child size beanie. With the rows added, pick off all but one row of yarn from the pegs. Cut the yarn leaving a length of about 18 inches. And thread it onto a yarn needle. Thread the remaining loops of yarn off each peg and onto the yarn needle. Pull it tight so it cinches together. From the inside of the beanie, secure the stitches by weaving the yarn through the top stitches of the beanie and tie it off. Congratulations, you've made your very own creeper beanie. Now put it on and start creeping people out. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please rate, please comment, and also share this video. It definitely helps us out in order to make more videos like this. Also, if you have suggestions, let us know in the comments below. And we'd like to see how yours turned out, so you can post on our Facebook page, which is in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be making a lot more videos like this. Thanks for watching.